I tested every RTX laptop GPU that has ever been created by NVIDIA. It is highly recommended that you watch this video from start to finish without fast forwarding as there is a lot of valuable information that I will cover. The RTX architecture was first launched by NVIDIA in January 2019, and it consisted of three high-end GPUs. RTX 2080, 2070 and 2060 all incorporated the ray tracing technology as well as first generation DLSS. Both were new technologies at the time of launch. Since then, the 3000 series not only improved efficiency with more modern manufacturing node, but also increased the number of CUDA cores. What does all this mean in terms of frame rates and actual performance gain in AAA titles? Should you upgrade to Ampere? Or is the 20 series laptop still worth buying in 2021? Let's take a look at the numbers. The performance of laptop GPUs are highly dependent on wattage. Generally speaking, the more wattage you can supply to the system, the more performance you are getting from the graphics card. This is the reason why some laptops can deliver higher FPS, despite on paper having a lower tier GPU. If you are interested in this topic, I have several videos comparing different graphics cards at all wattages. Please take a look in the channel playlist after watching this video. Back to our main topic. For this test, I decided to use the highest performing laptop from each graphics category for the comparison. I also included both Intel and AMD based systems as a reference. It is inevitable that we will come across CPUs from two different generations for this comparison, but I replaced all laptops with 32GB to remove potential bottlenecks from the memory. For those of you interested, I have listed all laptop specifications in the video descriptions. I then tested 14 games using the same graphics presets, usually 1080p ultra settings with VSync disabled and recorded the results from the game's built-in benchmark. Here are the results from all 14 games tested. Tribe did what no brave or war chief could do. I'm glad to see you're all right, Varl. You are all right. Since the proving. Just so you know, scars attract the winds. And there's definitely a lot of those up ahead. I don't need a lot, really. It's quality that matters. It's high. And I could dive. All right, here I go.
What about Angrim's lot? <laughs> Those ginger stunties down at the Slayer Keep. <laughs> it's a bit of a slog. From the sum of average FPS, we can see the results as an easy graphical presentation. Given the same wattage, the RTX 3080 can output 7% more FPS on average compared to an equivalent RTX 3070. The RTX 3070 laptops was on average around 11% faster versus the 3060. The results also confirmed my previous findings. The generation-on-generation generation improvement for laptop GPUs generally sees the high-end GPU from past generation being equivalent to the new GPU from a tier below. In other words, the performance that you get from the RTX 3070 can basically match the performance from a previous generation flagship product. RTX 3060 is 3% ahead of RTX 2070 and sit somewhere in between the RTX 2070 and the Super Edition. In terms of buying a laptop for future-proofing over the next four to five years, my general recommendation will be choosing a laptop that has the RTX 3060 graphics GPU. It represents the best trade-off between performance, cost of ownership, and resale value. If you are on a strict budget, the RTX 3050 laptop GPU will be on top of my recommendations, as it offers a significant boost over the GTX 1650 series from the entry segment, while trailing the Thai version with just 9% on average. I hope you gained some valuable knowledge after watching this video. This will be my last video that I will post for a while, as my channel hasn't grown in the way I have hoped it will. With the amount of time I have spent creating each video, normally between 60 to 80 hours, the number of subs and views hasn't exactly gone viral. Therefore, I need to take a break from making more videos. I appreciate all of you who have joined me on the journey so far. If you want to help me, please share my channel on any online gaming laptop related discussion forum and learn more from my videos in the channel playlist. Thanks for watching, and see you in the future.